No. I'm just going to start again. Save more health and uh, hopefully have a better playthrough this time. Historical Tactical Center. What kind of future ends up requiring this building? Stanley is, of course, playing Time Commando on his uh, little handheld tablet, which seemed so futuristic when this came out. Let's give it a go. I'm going to crank it down to easy because apparently I'm really struggling on normal. I suspect when I was younger I uh, played it on easy because I usually did. I liked to um, work my way through games and uh, go up to harder levels as I... Uh, learned them. I'm a bit out of practice with this one apparently. So we'll see if this helps. Don't don't scroll, don't scroll, don't scroll. I've never really minded playing games on easy because for me, like, 
it's mostly about am I enjoying the game typically that means making some kind of progress and if that's easy or uneasy then so be it oof Him with rocks. <laughs> Oops, she ran away. Oh, yeah. Nah, just health. I think most of the hidden stuff in this game is health. Oh god, I forgot about that again. Stop it! <laughs> Cowering in the corner. Oh. Oh. Oh, I found some of the hidden bonuses, but I got all the chips this time. Nothing there. You do really have to, like, if you want to find all the secrets, you do really have to search nearly everything. I'm sure there's a list somewhere, like if I open Game Facts, maybe someone's listed all the secrets. Of course, there could also be secrets here that I'm like oh. a pixel off. I 
think I knocked him off the cliff. Nope. Yeah, that was silly. This is the problem with not being able to move the camera in the 3D environment. Well, I mean the pseudo 3D environment. My neighbours are having a party and I can hear them singing. Stop that. Oh, she hit him. I didn't realise she could do that. Oh. Gotcha. And there we finish prehistory on the cliff face. I found none of the hidden bonuses in that level. Fairly short level, actually. But I got all the memory chips, so doing perfect with that so far. And my health's good, so uh, hopefully this run will do a little better. Fingers crossed. Alright, we're going to get a battery and this time we're not going to lose it. I just realized I was looking at the uh, streaming window, not the uh, playing window. I'm wondering why my controls weren't doing anything. <laughs> Scintillating fight behind a pillar. I get that she was probably your wife, but she did attack me first. I didn't mean to kill her, she just exploded into polygons. So did you! It's a disease. Is there anything hidden in the chair? I never could find the hidden bonuses in this game. Some I know where they are. Um, Others, like, yeah, like some of them look obvious, others are just so well hidden that I think you have to know where they are. Maybe they sold a play guide that I didn't have at the time.
Last night I uh, described this game as kind of proto Tomb Raider, but actually it's closer thematically to Resident Evil. Um, fixed camera angles, pre-rendered backgrounds, uh, slightly stilted movement. Shocking combat. Actually, the combat's okay. It's very, uh, it's a mix of side scrolling, beat em up, and Prince of Persia, would be the way I'd put it. Very noisy people. I thought my nephew was crying in another room for a second, but no, it's the party goers next door. Hopefully you can't hear it on the microphone, but I can hear it even through my headphones. Like, I, I can hear it with my headphones on, I mean. I can't hear it in my headphones. screen because I want to search these bushes that uh, he's trying to lure me off. It's also a pain. Secret areas hidden in a game where you can't go backwards. Ooh. Cause I was trying to search. Pot to the head. There was probably something in that room that I could have picked up a hidden secret, but I uh, couldn't make out what it was. Found something? What'd I find? Health. How exciting. Ooh. Getting hit by wheels, getting hit by pots. their mercy when he picks up his sword because it means he stops rolling wheels at you. If I was going to hide something, I'd hide it in the hay. But apparently these developers didn't think the way I do. Or my camera was at the wrong angle. We may never know. Oh, 
One second. Okay, hopefully. No, I don't know. Hope you don't mind some keyboard sounds. This new mic is quite sensitive. This is with the gain turned pretty much all the way down. The trade-off for good quality, I guess. What is that guy doing? Jeremy Parrish, who does the uh, Game Boy Works, uh, Nintendo Works series, um, he discusses in his episode on, on uh, Ice Climbers that uh, the game is immediately obviously a platformer, but a pre-Super Mario Brothers platformer. It's an evolutionary step that went nowhere. An evolutionary dead end. Uh, this game sort of makes me think of that. Also like um, sort of Wolfenstein to Doom. This was the prototypical step, the 3D game before uh, Tomb Raider, possibly just after Resident Evil. Um, this style of 3D we went nowhere, really. Um, and it seems a little archaic now. And I'm getting beat up. If I beat the guy on the horse, I think the others run off. Off screen. I wanted that health. I was trying to see if I could avoid falling down the trapdoor, but no, apparently not. Gotta beat up the lion. In 
the barrel. Oh, yeah. Hell. Yeah, for once I don't mind that it's held. I need a battery or something would be nice. Oh, there's someone there. Where? Where, 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 where? There. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Quality programming. Found something. Oh, one of those. Extra life thing. I mean, it's very clearly designed to be very cinematic, and it sort of succeeds. Third battery. Well, my health bar is longer than it ever was last night. Now let's see if we can do something about the ball. Oof, not that. The axe is too heavy to dodge with, but nothing else really hurts the thing. Now well, the trident might work. This game really could use a run button. Stuck in some geometry. All right, done. Okay, that's right. And now we're off to feudal Japan. <laughs>